Nolagent here at r r Seafood Restaurant. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Alabama Gulf Coast Travel Vlog, feast with me on some Gulf Coast seafood as we enjoy fish, shrimp, crab cake, and gumbo at r r Seafood Restaurant for a restaurant review video. R&R Seafood is located in Spanish Fort, Alabama at 1477 Battleship Parkway, which is about two hours and 145 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This restaurant started as a small bait and shrimp shop when it opened in 1997 and was successful until it got destroyed in Hurricane Katrina, which motivated the owner to take a chance to build upon his dream. So he opened up R&R Seafood a restaurant and seafood market which quickly became a popular spot. So I've eaten at several of the other restaurants in this area, but this is my first visit to this spot, and it is a happening place. There's a lot of cars parked here, and a lot of customers are going in here, so I'm really curious to try this spot out. And you get this nice walkway to go all the way up to the top to get inside here, so you do get a nice view of the area. So, we've got a lot of interesting stuff going on on the outside, so let's head on inside to check this place out. So, there's a decently long wait for a table. Fortunately, they've got plenty of spots at the bar for me. So, I'm going to offer the bar because I don't want to have to wait around to eat. So, that's always a good option. And they have a pretty nice looking bar in here and one of their dining rooms. So, let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So, we have appetizers. Gumbo, Chase's Loaded Cheese Fries, Fried Dill Pickles, Smoked Tuna Dip, Swamp Fries, Appetizer Sampler, Sweet and Spicy Shrimp, Barbecue Fries, Crab Cake Stacker, Crab Claws, Gator Bites, Crawfish Spinach, and Artichoke Dip. Next we have Entrees with Deep Sea Catch with Stuffed Snapper, Black and Delta Redfish, Whitefish, Mahi Mahi, Snapper. Seared ahi tuna bowl, then we have crustaceans and more with crawfish tails, crab claw, shrimp, steamed white shrimp, buffalo shrimp potato, seafood platter, oyster, popcorn shrimp, then we have pasta chicken and pork with Cajun seafood pasta, chicken or shrimp alfredo, red beans and rice, chicken fingers, barbecue pork potato, Chopped pork plate, then we have tacos with gator, buffalo shrimp, Asian persuasion, mahi mahi, the originals, south of the bay. Then we have po' boy sandwiches with a crawfish po' boy, a half po' boy, shrimp and oyster po' boy, barbecue pork sandwich fries, oyster po' boy, chicken sandwich fries, fish po' boy, hamburger fries, and shrimp po' boy. On the other side of the menu, we have steamed by the pound with royal red shrimp, snow crab legs, white shrimp, oysters on the half shell with raw bacon, Cajun, Parmesan, crawfish, Rockefeller, half and half dozen, salads with fish, chicken, shrimp. Then we have our side items with house salad, baked potato, steamed broccoli with Parmesan cream sauce, green beans, hush puppies, french fries, coleslaw, fried okra, red beans and rice, sausage, corn of the cob, and potatoes, entree add-on items, fish fillet, large butterfly shrimp, popcorn shrimp, crab cake, small side butter, side of Cajun cream sauce, side of Parmesan cream sauce, then we have little mud bugs with chicken fingers, fish, popcorn shrimp, and Ken's Alfredo, then we have lunch specials with a fish lunch, a lunch pasta, a blackened shrimp quesadilla, popcorn shrimp, seared tuna bowl, red beans and rice, your choice of tacos, Black and Delta Redfish Lunch. Then we have desserts with key lime pie, beignet fries, seasonal bread pudding, and dessert of the week. So I decided to start out with a gumbo. And this gumbo has shrimp, crab meat, and chicken in it. Now it does have a nice looking dark roux here. Uh, it seems to be a bit light on the proteins. I'm not seeing a whole lot of shrimp, crab meat, or chicken in here. Uh, let's go ahead and dig in though. There's plenty of rice and it's got a pretty decent flavor with the roux. This is overall a pretty decently flavored gumbo and they've uh, gotten a pretty good roux down which is not easy to find once you get outside of Louisiana. So now just like I totally destroyed this gumbo, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below let me know what you thought about this gumbo. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that.
For my main entree, I got the stuffed snapper, which is snapper topped with crab cake, Cajun cream sauce, and four fried butterfly shrimp. And for a side, I got the broccoli topped with the Parmesan cream sauce. Then for my other side, I got the fried okra. Okay, let's dig in. And since the crab cake's on top here, we will start with that. So this looks like a pretty decent crabby crab cake with more crab than breadcrumbs. And it's got some good flavor here and that cream sauce is very nice. We'll try some of this fried okra now. And it's nice and crunchy, just the way the okra should be. And this uh, little Parmesan cream sauce and the broccoli looks quite nice. So the broccoli itself is cooked up perfectly. So it's very nice flavor with that broccoli. Now let's get a little piece of this snapper here. I'm always a big fan of a good snapper if it's cooked properly. So let's see how they've done with cooking this little fish here. And the snapper is cooked absolutely perfect. Now let's try one of these fried shrimp. So these are a little smaller for butterfly shrimp, but they've got good taste for a fried shrimp. Here's some more of the snapper, and it's got some uh, nice flavors. I ordered it blackened, and they've done a pretty decent job of getting some of those blackening spices on there. And it's uh, still light, flaky, and this crab cake is also adding a little layer of flavor on top of everything. So it's a uh, tough choice to say if I like the crab cake or the snapper better. They're both very nicely prepared. The shrimp are okay. I've had better fried shrimp, but this is decent fried shrimp, so it's okay. And then the uh, fish certainly is a very nicely done thing. So the two best things on the plate, definitely the snapper and the crab cake. And the snapper has definitely been a very pleasant experience and a quite nice size filet as well. And ooh, we're taking it down very fast. This has been very quick and easy. So just like I totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this meal. While you're down there, go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $42.47. So, thanks so much to everybody at R&R Seafood for a great meal and some good times. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching, and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.